Funny man Adam Sandler often plays average Joe characters in the movies, but that's far from his reality. Although he's down to earth, he lives a life of luxury with more than one sprawling property. It's easy to forget at times that Adam is rich since he can be so laid back and casual, but after watching this video, you'll never forget again. We'll take a look at his Los Angeles mansion, Malibu home, and more. Adam Sandler is a comedian, actor, screenwriter, film producer, and more who has been in the biz for ages now. After making it on Saturday Night Live, he went on to star in Hollywood films which have grossed over 2 billion in total over the years. He is best known for all his hit comedy films he starred in since the 90s which include Billy Madison, Mr. Deeds and 50 First Dates, one of my personal faves. We can't forget he's also successfully crossed over to dramatic territory with movies like Spanglish and the recent Uncut Gems. Despite his success, he hasn't lost touch with his roots. In December last year, the comedian took 60 minutes on a tour of his childhood home, saying that he was one of the rare comedians who says his childhood was happy. Many say that Adam is a celeb who's managed to stay down to earth and humble. At the time of this recording, Mr. Sandler is 53 years old and his net worth is an estimated 420 million, making him one of the richest actors and producers in Hollywood. With his fortune, he's managed to buy real estate all over the place from the east to west coast. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be looking at the places Adam Sandler calls home from his main residence in Los Angeles and more. I heard he has places in Malibu, Florida, and even New Hampshire, but we'll get to all of that. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of John Krasinski and Steve Harvey, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. First of all, like most famed Hollywood actors, Adam and his family have a main residence in Los Angeles, California. This is the mansion he lives at with his wife, children, and the rest of the family when they want to come visit. We know that the Sandlers like letting everyone stay over too and it's a big family. During a 2014 interview with Jimmy Kimmel, Adam revealed he had his entire extended family staying with him for one of his movie premieres. When asked how many family members were staying over, Adam said, Let's put it this way, I've got a big house and there's so many people in the house that my mother and my mother-in-law are sleeping in the same bed, it's that crowded. Sounds like it can get pretty busy. Adam's main mansion is located in the Pacific Palisades, an upscale residential neighborhood between the Santa Monica Mountains and the Pacific Oceans. There's miles of coastlines, hiking, trails, and more, so you basically get the best of all worlds. No wonder this area is a celebrity favorite. Some of his famous neighbors include the likes of Ben Affleck, Steven Spielberg, Tom Hanks, and more. Not to mention the previous owners of Adam's mega mansion were Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. Unfortunately, the house wasn't officially on the market, so there aren't any listing photos to creep, but we do know plenty about the place. Adam bought the mansion from the famous couple back in 2004, around the time his movie Spanglish was released. It costs just under $13 million and sits on two thirds of an acre of land. From aerial photos, we can see how expansive the property really is. Adam's main house here is 12,860 square feet and has seven beds and nine bathrooms. It was built back in 1990 and has underwent major renovations since. If that's not enough, he also owns the adjoining home on the property. This one is likely used as a guest house, but by the sounds of it, it's big than the average family home. It spans just shy of 4,000 square feet of living space and has four beds and four baths. Apparently, the combined properties are worth an estimated 28 mil these days. Outside on the grounds of his LA home, Adam can enjoy plenty of activities thanks to the massive swimming pool, spa, and patio. There's also a sports area. Next up, Adam has a second mansion in Malibu. I know it's not that far from Pacific Palisades, but who doesn't want a beach house? And from photos, we can see his home is directly on the sand. He's often spotted spending time with his family in Malibu and clearly everyone enjoys some downtime here. The Malibu home looks super modern from the exterior and clearly takes advantage of the views with all of the windows. I mean it looks like it's essentially one wall of glass. To buy anything in Malibu, you really do have to be a multimillionaire considering the prices. Adam's house here was purchased some years back in 2001 for just under 4 million. It spans 4,000 square feet and it's a single family home with three beds and three bathrooms. It was originally built in 
1947 but has been remodeled extensively since. Another feature of Adam's Malibu Getaway is a large entertainment patio at beach level perfect for having guests over in summer parties. There's also a skylight that runs the length of the home inside, allowing all sunlight to reach you even indoors. His house is situated literally on the beach like I mentioned and on a highly sought after street with picture perfect views. Although it doesn't look like the Sandlers will be putting the place on the market anytime soon, the estimated value of the place has almost doubled since Adam bought it. Now the Malibu home is worth an estimated 6.05 million compared to the previous 3.9 mil he paid back in 2001. I wish I had more to show for Adam's homes but the man is notoriously private with his properties. We do know about another place he purchased for his mom though that he's often spotted visiting and staying at as well. This one is in Florida. Located in the Highland Beach area of Boca Raton, Florida, a town in Palm Beach County, seems like a much quieter area of the state, unlike Miami for instance, so his mom probably gets some good peace and quiet around here. The condo Adam bought is 2,600 square feet of living space with three beds and three baths. Originally built back in 1981 and renovated since. Current estimates of the high rise place its value at over 1.25 million, which is a lot more than Adam paid some years ago. Back then around 1999, it only cost him about 650k. There are also rumors out there that Adam bought an additional home in the area located on any Spanish trail, but there haven't been official reports confirming this. If any of you guys know, be sure to tell me in the comments. A lot of people have said that Adam has a home on Lake Winnipesaukee in New Hampshire, but it's worth mentioning that the comedian doesn't own a lake home there. He's filmed movies in the area and his sister lives close by, but that's about it. However, his childhood home is located in New Hampshire and according to property records in 60 minutes, his parents still live there. Or I guess when his mom isn't soaking up the sun in Florida, that is. He was very nice and they were nice to, to my mama. Oh, well, I mean, the fact that that's your bedroom right there. Yes, And it's yes. exactly, what are all those tro trophies for? Can basketball? you believe those are my trophies? Yeah. It looks cute and cozy from what I can see and I think it's adorable that things are unchanged for the most part. His childhood home is 2,260 square feet and has three beds and 2.5 baths and was originally built in 1950. It's interesting his parents decided not to upgrade since we last checked considering their son is such a multi-millionaire actor. But I guess Adam purchasing the Boca Raton condo was enough of a gift to his mom. The current estimated value of the house is just slightly over $423,000. From the 60 minute special that showed Adam's nostalgic New Hampshire home, you can see how much it remained the same. Apparently it's the same kitchen, same bedroom that Sandler shared with his brother, and has a lot of his old stuff in place like his albums and t-shirts. I mean he even said the bed sheets are the same, kinda weird but as long as they've been washed. Adam was also quite proud of his trophies from what we could see. I had no idea the guy played so many sports like basketball, even ping pong. So now we've taken a look at Adam Sandler's real estate or what we know about it anyways. I wish we could see how he and the fam decorated the inside of their mansions, but clearly they're super private. From what I have seen, Adam's Pacific Palisades mega mansion in Malibu Beach House look pretty impressive. Okay guys, now I'll read out some comments from previous videos. On our Britney Spears house tour, Dina Williams wrote, She looks really good for her age. I agree, people are so damn hard on the woman, give her a break, she's still super fit. And Jennifer Clark left us a comment saying, I'm a new subscriber, really like your channel and really like all the people that you do your house tours with. I love it, thank you. Thanks Jennifer and welcome as a new subscriber. I'm glad you're enjoying and if there's someone else you really want me to do one on, tell me who because I'd be glad to. Alright guys, that's all I got on Adam Sandler's home, like his mansion in LA, his home in Malibu, and more. I want to hear from you guys. What did you think about his properties? I mean, from what we've seen anyways. Were there any I missed? Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you want to chat, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!